streets like Aladdin I like how you brown skin, you the full package And your ass like an atlas Yeah, let a real nigga take you back to the palace Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back a Bit of a different video today I've got a few videos planned in the future So this is one of the ones that I've made sure that I have to do this whole part is basically just a Q&A that I did. I put up a questions box on my story, just seeing if any I had any questions coming through, basically on, you know, regarding prep or anything in general. I picked out a few of them that I thought would be good topics for obviously to talk about on here. Um, and I got some good ones to be honest. So I'm just gonna maybe quick round, obviously go into a bit of detail. I don't wanna make this video too long um, because next video is actually a very good one because I'm having my refeed on the next video. So this Sunday now, which doesn't make sense to you guys, but in a, in, very, in the next video, you guys will see a refeed video. So I'm very excited for that. I'm obviously figuring out what I'm gonna eat, obviously going through that with my coach and stuff like that, um, but next video, so keep an eye out for that. So first one, when are your two shows? So. Obviously, I, I put many times I have two shows. So my first show, like I said, is UK DFBA. I'm doing the Junior Men's Physique. Um, in the, it, it's basically a natural federation. Um, I'm obviously doing, like I said, Junior Men's Physique. That is in Camberley on the 5th of September. The other show is a PCA Midlands, which was a first-timers, um, but obviously that got changed due to reasons. That is on the 19th of September, I'm pretty sure. That is in Hull Centre, um, up north from where I am. That is on the 19th of September, as I said. I'll be doing junior men's physique there. That is an untested federation. How many calories are you on at the moment? So, I figured out on my fitness pal. Um, obviously, calories drop from week to week as we assess you know, how I'm going through prep. At the moment, I'm on training day, obviously because I split a carb cycle, so I have different calories. Um, and macros basically training days and non-training days I don't want to go into too much detail about that but they are just different um, obviously because what you're doing on that day you're training on that day you're resting on that day so you may need different things in terms of protein carbs and fats training day I'm roughly roughly on 2800 don't want to put the specifics of the carbs fats proteins 230 grams of protein I'm on about 80 grams of fat and I think maybe 300 grams of carbs I'm not too sure about that Rest day, I am on, I would say, 2,000 to 2,200, um, which obviously is pretty low. It's the lowest calories I've ever been on, I think, from since I started training. I was eating 2,000 calories, so I'm ridiculously low on rest days. I only have basically two and a half meals um, because I just have two big meals and then pre-bed meal. Maybe I'm on a bit higher fats on that day, higher protein, and I'm probably on less than 200 grams of carbs, so... That's basically a run through of how many calories I'm at the moment. If you'd like a video of me explaining that more, I think I'll, I could put that in a, in a segment of, you know, maybe next video, um, just talking about the nutritional side of, you know, how I'm going through practice changes and all that stuff. Um, so let me know in the comments if you'd like something on that. How can I bring up a weak body part such as arms or chest? Now, obviously, as you guys know, or if you follow my Instagram or anything like that, a little plug, my arms haven't really been a strong point. Um, typically for this person, they may obviously, as they said, lag in chest. Personally for me, I haven't lagged in chest, but I've lagged in other areas I've obviously brought up. Um, but yeah, arms like in general just weren't my forte. The simplest answer, increase the volume and increase the frequency I'm training at. Um, and, and a good tip for uh, as well is start off with that movement. For instance, I was doing a push-pull leg split, basically neglecting arms at the end of my workout. Change it. Start with arms. Um, train, you know, if this is arms, train arms or chest more frequently. Um, and maybe look at, you know, what exercises you're choosing, such as, you know, the exercise selection. Are they suited to you? Are you getting a good contraction? Is your form good, etc. You have to assess all these variables first. But simple answer, increase the volume increase the frequency. That's what I've done personally to help myself bring up weak body parts. So next question, have you got any cravings 
or do you know what you're going to eat after your show? So, how many cravings now? I'm craving pretty salty foods and high fat foods, I would say. Um, at the moment, I have like pickles, which is weird. I never like pickle food, but just the sodium content. Obviously, these are like low in calories, and my sodium's always pretty high anyway. I salt my foods to taste. Um, and I think it's literally no calories. Obviously, it's cucumber, it's just pickled cucumber. That's one thing that I've been craving. Luckily, thank God I can have that. But another thing I've been craving cookies and a sausage and egg McMuffin from McDonald's. That's pretty much it. I'm not going to be able to have any of those. Maybe I might have cookies on the refeed. Um, but sausage and egg McMuffin, I'm probably not going to be able to have until after the show. Which brings on to the next part. Am I going, what are you going to eat after your show? So I definitely want to have a pizza or something like that. Definitely want to obviously have the sausage and egg McMuffin, stuff like that. All, all stuff that I would regularly have, to be honest. I, I want Krispy Kremes. But one thing that I really want is, is some cookies from my cookie dealer. They have just some insane cookies. I'm a cookie person of anything. I have waffles, pancakes just cakes in general i'm a cookie guy and they have like half pound cookies and they look literally insane so that's something i'll probably have last question next steps after competing so the the main premise of the shows that i'm doing is probably just to bring exposure to you know myself and obviously test myself on you know get into the get into the industry in terms of you know competing put my name out there and obviously it'll be good for publicity um, and not only that, just for my business as well in terms of, you know, social media and stuff like that. Um, and, and, you know, making videos like this obviously will bring new people in to watch my content. So that's a good thing that I'm doing. Um, but in terms of next steps after competing, probably just doing exactly the same I'm doing now, being, being more consistent and obviously putting more time and dedication and trying to make, um, you know, trying to make basically this uh living you know try and do this the fit you know it, it be a part of the fitness industry full time that's basically my goal at the end of the day and that's what i've been working for for four years but obviously as you as you guys know i do have my online coaching business that i've just started up so that's kind of going to be after competing um but it's just going to be you know after competing it's just going to be thoughts about the next show building a better physique coming back better bigger more lean um, and just shredded to the bone. Not only that as well, you know, in terms of business, obviously grow, you know, my online coach and take on more clients, etc. Um, and obviously grow my social media following, stuff like that. That's basically it. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that basically sums up the whole video. This is probably a sit down video, um, only because, you know, I have a lot of videos where they're kind of like vlogs um vlog style videos i thought it'd be good to you know just sit down do a quick video answer some questions you guys have so yeah obviously that's the end of the video if you guys like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up give it a thumbs up right now and if you enjoyed or want more content to see make sure to hit that subscribe button thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on the next video seven weeks out on my refeed so stay tuned See you then.